just like that. Oh, he puts it in. One, two, three. He makes it quick and easy. Fantastic goal, really it was. Mesa Slade through. Oh, he's got a man through a goal here. It's a stunning goal from Ovi. What is going on everyone, my name is Ovi and welcome to a new FIFA 22 tutorial on the channel. In the next couple of minutes we are going to talk about a few simple settings that will revolutionize your gameplay, that will help you improve in FIFA 22 and get better results online and offline. Before jumping into the actual tutorial, don't forget to drop a like if you are enjoying the content on the channel. Let's try and get over 1500 likes, that would be awesome and much much appreciated. Let's start with the most important old new features in FIFA. I'm talking about time finishing and it is so so important this season because long shots are again a bit overpowered timed finishing making those long shots even even better if you're new to the game time finishing is a special technique that will give the ball a better trajectory and better speed it will be much much powerful the shot in order to perform it you will have to uh, press one time the shot button in order to trigger the shot and this first time also dictates the power of the shot now the second time when you press it this will release the timed finishing it's best to press it exactly prior to your player hitting the ball this will uh, trigger a green timed shot and it will go in just superbly with finesse shots or with long shots timed finishing is in my opinion a must option to have on in fifa 22. Moving now to a new feature that has been added in FIFA 22 by EA Sports. I am talking about icon switching. A very, very interesting way of switching to the desired player while you are defending. Why is this so, so good? It, well, because you can get to a player on the other side of the pitch by tapping only two buttons. How do you trigger the icon switching? You press r3 on your playstation controller after that you will see uh, that you will be able to select from four of your players by moving the right analog uh, down up left or right the big advantage here is as i was saying instead of uh, moving three four times the right analog to get to your last player in defense to cover a long ball you will be able to press only two buttons one time r3 and the other time the uh, flick of the right analog in order to select that particular player if mastered icon switching can prove to be extremely extremely effective moving now to something old but cold and i even did the mistake in fifa 22 to not activate this option i didn't put player indicator correctly as you are seeing now uh, on the screen and uh, i had my online id over my players why is this bad why was this bad to my gameplay well uh, i'm using a camera that is far away from uh, the pitch because i like seeing everything uh, on the pitch and at times i can't make the difference between my players i'm too far away i have my online indicator on the player and then i will have to look in the left downside or right downside in order to see the name of the player why is this so important well boys fifa 22 like previous fifas is a very versatile game in which uh, weak foot matters in which each player is different comparing with the other one for example in this particular uh, example right here i might have missed the fact that i'm using bruno fernandez i might have uh, thought that i use sancho because my camera is far away or in this scenario right here it's good to know that my player can do the finesse shot from long range else if I don't know exactly which player I am uh, controlling, I don't know exactly what I can do with that particular player. Uh, you might say, yeah, but you're using Manchester uh, United, it's obvious which player, which player is which. But also, guys, we're playing a lot of ultimate team with different, ki different kits and in the um, rush of the game, because sometimes we play super, super focused, concentrated, uh, you need this, you need to see the indicator showing the name of the 
player not having it in the left bottom corner. Moving now to tactics, a setting that has helped me a lot in division rivals, a setting that uh, has given me the opportunity to open up defenses easier. And this season, it is hard, guys. This season, it's hard at times to build those attacks, much more passes involved and having forward runs. Uh, at build up has helped me a lot uh, my midfielders my players that don't have stay back while attacking will be joining the penalty box will be triggering the runs on their own and this helps a lot as i was saying to open up uh, defenses but very very careful here this is super important guys if you don't have stay back while attacking for your fullbacks, they will also come forward way too aggressively when you use forward runs so please Put stay back while attacking at the fullbacks, else you're gonna be very, very, very vulnerable for counterattacks. Otherwise, forward runs works like a charm. If I play a 4 3 3 or a 4 1 2 1 2 narrow, uh, I do put stay back while attacking also for my CDM because I like to have him protecting me over there and not coming also in attack there you have it boys a few simple to set up settings that will help you improve a lot your game from uh, time finishing icon switching from having the player indicator with the player name over your player to forward runs a nice tactic to use in attack these are a few things that will make a big impact a huge impact in your gameplay and hopefully bring you those extra w's also remember guys these settings are not miracles they will not bring you the wins if you don't practice it is very very important that if you want to have great results in online seasons in division rivals in foot champions you also put the work in the practice and best way to practice in my opinion has always been division rivals online play over there career mode and squad battles is not necessarily the best way squad battles is good only uh, to get that practice for skill moves i wanted to emphasize this so you don't believe that these settings are miracles at the end of the day you will still have to practice a lot your gameplay don't forget to drop a like if you're enjoying the content on the channel thank you all for watching my name is ovi and i'll be seeing you in the next videos bye, -bye.